There's something that I wanted to read to you guys that has been rocking me. Um, this is Kate Johnson in a in a book I'm reading called Radical Friendship that I particularly love. But the piece that I've I've probably read this paragraph like 40 times since I first found it. She's talking about um building her altar and putting um all of the her her various objects that reminded her of the various parts of her family on her altar and talking to the priest that recommended that she do this. And she says, when I gathered my objects, I had a moment of hesitation that I tried to explain to him. I don't think my ancestors want to be on the altar, you know, all together. I gestured from one side of the table to the other, my hand crossing the invisible line that divided the black and white faces. The priest spoke patiently with me. They already are, he said. Their altar is you. And so she goes on in the next part to talk about how for those of us here for whom our ancestral lineages are kind of complicated, that there are ways in which both in our present life and the way we live, we have opportunities to provide some healing to that complication and how the way that we connect with those people who maybe didn't get to connect with each other when they were alive, that like those opportunities aren't completely gone. And that's just been really helping me kind of sit with some complicated things I've learned really recently about, about my own family and just kind of thinking about it in terms of that they maybe have some ways that they get to be with each other and for each other now when, and they could not always do that when they were alive.